Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and today is Wednesday, January 19th, and it's time for our daily devotions. We are in Romans chapter 9 today, and we are starting at verse 1. I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience bears me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my brothers, the kinsmen according to the flesh. They are Israelites, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from their race according to the flesh is the Christ, who is God over all, blessed forever. Amen. But it is not as though the word of God has failed, for not all who are descended from Israel belong to Israel, and not all are children of Abraham, because they are his offspring. But through Isaac shall your offspring be named. This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as offspring. For this is what the promise said, About this time next year I will return, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only so, but also when Rebekah had conceived children by one man, our forefather Isaac. Though they were not yet born and had not done nothing either good or bad, in order that God's purpose of election might continue, not because of works, but because of him who calls, she was told the older will serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated. What shall we say then? Is there injustice on God's part? By no means. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. So when it depends not on human will or exertion, but on God who has mercy. For the scripture says to Pharaoh, For this very purpose I have raised you up, that I might show my power in you, and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. So that he who has mercy on whomever he wills, and hardens whomever he wills. Okay. All right, so uh, a lot going on here um, in chapter 9. And um, Paul starts out with a very provocative statement. He says that he wished that he could be cursed uh, for the sake of his people, that he recognizes that the Jewish people um, are are not going to be saved if they do not believe in Christ. And and this, he fears, is happening, um, even though they have such a great legacy that from their line comes, um, obviously, Jesus in terms of his flesh. But they have the covenants, they have the glory, the promises, um, the worship, all these things that are foundational to the understanding of who Jesus is. But that doesn't do them any good if they don't see Christ as the Savior of the world, as their personal Savior, as the one who dies for sin and redeems them from death. You know, all this history doesn't do them any good. And so Paul is recognizing the difficulty that he has with this because um, he grew up with them, he loves them, he cares for them, he wants them to come to to the knowledge of this truth. But um, like I said, just just the heritage alone is not going to cut it. So, um, you know, Paul explains here that, um, uh, you know, that we are, that that a true son of Abraham is someone who believes in the faith of Abraham, not that he's physically descended from Abraham, but that he's spiritually descended, that he walks in the same type of, of, uh, of faith um, and believing and trusting in the promises of God as Abraham once did. And, um, you know, God is going to have mercy on, on those who believe as Abraham did and who receive um, God's promises in this way. And, and we receive those promises by trusting in, in Jesus. All right, let's go ahead and continue with uh, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay, so uh, a few announcements. Um, I'm actually going to be moving back the start of Season Saints by one week because I forgot I had a dentist appointment. So um, the first day for Season Saints is going to be February the 8th, not the 1st. It's going to be February the 8th. So please mark that on your calendars. Um, let's see, other announcements that we have. Uh, planning for Church Council and Elders Meeting to happen this coming Sunday. Um, and Saturday, and then, um, probably I think that we will have our first, um, um, our first men's breakfast again on, uh, February the 12th, so, uh, watch for, uh, for that date coming up, I'll put that in the email newsletter today, if council, uh, well, we're gonna have a council meeting in January, and then hopefully a voters meeting in January. So, so should be some more information coming about that in the email newsletter today as well. Um, please continue to keep members of our church in your prayers. Um, seems like everybody's getting COVID now. Thankfully, it's much more mildly than, than what I experienced. And so I'm happy for all of you about that because mine was quite the ordeal. But um, uh, just keep everyone in your prayers um, we're delighted to have people coming to worship and we're continuing to worship in person. Uh, wear a mask as you feel comfortable with that and, um, watch us online if you're not able to come. Um, and, uh, I think that's all the announcements I have for today. So email newsletter is going to be coming out here a little bit later this afternoon. God bless this the rest of your Wednesday. And, um, we look forward to seeing you back again tomorrow for daily devotions.